how are your knees? Which is the topic of today's short little session. Um, some, some people have got knees that have got masses of history and they're just not feeling great. Some have got just achy knees. Some of you know that if you just sort of squat or bend down to the floor to get up, you find it difficult. So I thought we would have um, a little session on knees this morning. So you'll need a chair and if you have a band, go and grab yourself a band. But if you haven't got a band, you could use a long scarf or something. But the band is brilliant because it's got a bit of give in it. So what we'll do to start off with them, we'll just sort of warm our bodies up, just sort of give ourselves a bit of a stretch. So let's have some shoulder circles. Let's lift the chest, open the back. That's it. Let's do a couple more of those. That's it. And then just bring your hands by your sides. Turn the hands out and bring them back in again. So just turning those hands out and one more of those. So take it up into above your head and then just press the hands back down again. So turn those hands round, lift up and press those hands away. So do two more of those for me. So turn the hands, lift and when you press the hands away, feeling that lovely lengthening underneath your arms. So once more here, bringing the hands right up and pressing them right away. So just sort of give your shoulders a little bit of a wiggle. Lift up, open out and come back. So this time I'd like you to open just one arm and watch the hand go. And then take the other arm out and come back and down. So again, lift, and just to get a little bit of rotation into the back, which is really important first thing in the morning, or midday, or last thing at night, so wherever you are in your day watching this. That's it. So we're going to do one more. So just notice how much freer your arms, your shoulders, your back is just getting. That's it. And then back down. So just to challenge your balance then, just lift up on one foot and then lift up on the other foot. So just do a single knee lift here and then I'd like you to come up onto your toes. So just working through your feet, your ankles, calf muscles. And also by coming up on your toes, it makes the muscles work up above your knees and below your knees too. And so last one here. Okay, so you don't need a chair if, if you know that your balance is good but if you want to use the chair just for a bit of balance then you can because also what that does is it helps you focus on your knee so I just want you to do a single knee lift to start off with so doing a single knee lift here and then what I want you to do is to stand on one leg and just hold that knee up so hold the knee up extend bring it back in and down so same thing on the other side so what we're doing here it's just activating and using the muscles above and below the knee. So this might be awkward for you to do standing on one leg. So we can take this exact move to the chair. So just take your band off the chair a moment. Now when you sit on your chair, it needs to sort of have a hard back to it, but I don't want you to sit into the chair. Sit up. Now you might, just depending on your chair, it might be that you sit back into the chair and then you can do a leg lift, a leg extension here. So just see how that feels. So as you take one leg out and just look at your knees and notice and sense and feel where the muscles are working. So once more here and once more here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use the band. So if I just move back a little so that you can see pop the band around the foot but pop it around the ball of the foot and if you open the band out flat so that it goes around the whole foot now again you might want to sit back or forwards but do sit upright and then lift your foot up and you've got the band aiding that there so from here pressing the ball of the foot into the band and just notice if your foot is going out straight in front of you that's it. And then I'd like you to circle that foot. That's it. So circling the foot one way, and then we're going to circle it back round the other way. 
So as you circle that foot, try and do a circle, although I know it's not necessarily the easiest thing. And then I want you to sort of, I say wag your foot from side to side, but a bit like a windscreen wiper as you go from side to side. That's it. And then just bend the knee and pop the knee down. So just seeing how that knee feels, I'd like you with your hands just to rub around your knee joints and just to give it a bit of love around the back of your knee joints as well. So just circling with your hands just to help increase a bit of blood flow. Okay, so we're going to go to the other knee now and the other leg. So pop the band around your foot. Make sure that it's over the ball of the foot so you've opened the band right up so it's nice and flat. Sit up tall, hold on to the band. So you might want to make the band quite short so that you're not having to sit back and pull on the band. So from here then, just point and flex. So if you push through the ball of the foot, because if you actually point the toe, you might get cramp and the band might just wrinkle up your foot. So press through the ball of the foot and then we're going to circle the foot. So circle the foot one way. It always makes me smile circling the foot. That's it. And then circle it back the other way. That's it. So just noticing how your foot is, watching how it's circling, watching how the leg's moving. And then I'd like you to go from side to side. And you'll notice how your knee your foot, possibly your thigh are moving. Last one here and then just release that down to the floor and again rub around the knee joint just giving that knee, offering that knee a little bit of love. Okay so this time you might need to come forward on your chair. So uh, what I'd like you to do is pop one foot out in front of you. I'd like you to pop your hands around your knee joint to support it. Now if you've got um, a cushion or something you could lift the leg up onto. I've got here a small Pilates ball so that that should help. So pop a cushion or something on the floor, that's it, and then pop your hands around the knee joint and then holding gently onto the knee joint I want you to point and flex the foot and as you do that notice the muscles either side of your knee joint working, so the calf muscles and then your thigh muscles, but your hands are just there to support the knee joint. I'm not too worried about your posture as you sit because the important thing is to hold the knee joint. Then to circle the foot, so again with your hands either side of the knee joint to keep it as still as possible, the work needs to come from the ankle and then change direction and as you can see as you look down at your knee, even if you've got um, leggings on or trousers on, you, you should still feel the muscles moving underneath your hands. And then take the foot from side to side. Again, holding that knee, supporting that knee joint, keeping it as still as possible. And then just bring that foot in. So again, just give that knee a bit of a rub, a bit of a tension, and then we'll take it to the other side. So same thing on the other side, pop the ball on your cushion or your soft Pilates ball, hold the knee joint and then just point and flex. So your hands are there for stability just to keep the knee joint stable and then you're going to circle the foot one way and that's it. So as you circle it, noticing what it feels like, just taking your attention to the joint itself and then change direction. And then you're going to wag your foot from side to side. So again, just seeing how that feels. And then when you're done, just take the ball away. Give your knee joint a loving rub. So just here and then just around the back of the knee joint as well. That will also help to stimulate blood flow too. And then you're good to go. So pop your hands on your thighs and just come up to standing. So knees, they need looking after, they need love, they need attention. So hopefully that was interesting and hopefully that was helpful.